All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So today, I think we're on episode 12. I think we're on 12 now. And we're going to try to get that uh, building all situated and finished. Hopefully they can finish that up. I got bricks over here, so it's a little bit easier for them to build the roofs and stuff. Um, looks like they are making it up to the top here. Oh, maybe not. Um, oh yeah, I guess they were. It looked like he climbed down from the ladder there. Okay, so that's good. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how it's starting to turn out and stuff like that. It's, um, gonna be a good little library, I think. Uh, and we're gonna have tons of space upstairs as well. Uh, for additional books and whatever else we need up here, I guess. Um, the, the floor here will be basically removed. Actually, speaking of which, I wanted to check, um, is it furniture three? No, it wasn't furniture. I think it was something else. Um, where is it? Might have even unlocked it already. I'm not sure. Uh, they added some new, um building types, but I'm not seeing where it is. Defensive structures. Texture banners. Okay, we do have it unlocked. Ornate. Uh, yeah, so basically what I want is that ornate stuff. Let's see if I can find it. It should be under fences, maybe? Yeah, there we go. So what we'll do is we'll put these ornate uh, fences in here and that will kind of separate the, um, the floors a little bit. It'll still be a floor, just a little bit different. And we'll do that to the other side as well. Now I'm not sure what it requires, just one piece of wood, that's not too bad actually. haven't actually played around with these ornate things, so I don't know how they function. I'm assuming they're like fences, though. On uh, more of an interior design thing. Okay, so we have a little bit more stone work to do on the upper floor, I think. If we were to go into the photo mode and take a look at what's gotten done. So we got the pillars that we still need to build. It's probably going to take the most time, I think.
All right, so there was a battle. Um, autumn four, so we should be good for a while now. Um, we got everyone that was down here. Actually, I forgot to unlock those things. So there we go. So yeah, we got quite a bit of uh, iron and stuff from that. I think uh, we got some iron shields there. Um, quite a bit of iron actually. Sort of like wolf helmets. Uh, wooden item. Most of this was iron. There's some steel mixed in here. Wood. That's a steel item. Yeah, so I think we did pretty good for that. Uh, we did, um, yeah, we still got some other stuff that we have to um, melt down in here. That's actually uh, above what we normally would have, but it's still steel, so we might be able to equip that to somebody. Um, I also sent um, somebody over to tend to this guy. Why isn't... There he is. Okay, he's coming. So, uh, yeah, this is the other settler that we basically got um, last episode, I think. Towards the end, he needed um, medical attention and that kind of sort of thing. So, I've also been chopping down these trees. They're just about expired now. Uh, this one's fruitless. Uh, that one's fruitless. This one's flowering. We'll probably have one more there. I'm actually going to probably chop this one down too. We do need a... Oh, what is it? Uh, thing down here. Actually, we don't want that set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell them to put in good apple seeds on this one. So, what do we have for the good ones? About 50%, right? So... So we'll do that for 50%. We'll probably set it to very high or no, we went to medium before. So medium and then this one can be the 49% one for the apple trees. We'll just switch this out for this one and then that can get sorted out uh, for the um, what do you call it? The seeds and stuff like that. And I'm not sure if uh, we're going to have a spot for the, those other ones. I think we just stored them out here. But, um, yeah, it'll be better than...
Alright, so we got um, quite a bit of stuff in the works at the moment. I got uh, some more bridge parts uh, built, well, scheduled for building. Um, I'm also telling them to plant all the saplings for the apple trees because they started to um, get a little bit low on hit points for most of them. So I wanted to plant them all and then basically remove them again for the saplings and this should reset the hit points. Uh, it shouldn't take too much longer for them to um, do all that. I think he's on the last one, so it's just a matter of finishing it up. But uh, yeah, outside of that, it's like pretty easy to fix the hit points for the the plants for the um, at least the apple trees. Regular plants don't really have the same method. Uh, you have to wait until they have produced at least some seeds. And it's really based on the level of the um, person, so. But um, once this is done, we can simply tell them to harvest it by going and telling them to cut saplings. And most of these, I think, are still saplings, so. Yeah, should be all saplings still. So we'll be able to harvest them up just by selecting that, and then we'll be able to um, tell them not to sow. And then we can just remove them, put them back in storage. And that should prepare for next season when we can... Or not next season, but like the next spring when we can actually plant these. Um, I think there's about 10 per thing, so... 40 saplings, which is more than what we had before. And then we can start selling apples, I guess. And some, some things like that, so... If somebody drops some of these, we got two saplings. Yeah, you can see that the hit points are pretty low on it. It was like 8 out of the 50. So, I don't know. We'll wait until all of these are for sure finished, and then we can go ahead and do that. Where are you going? You're delivering wooden items. I also put some um, wooden items for selection under here, so we can basically just easily craft them up here. Oh, it looks like we have a visitor, too. Nice. Well, I'll definitely have to have a, a meal thing um, once he gets to the, the lodge and stuff. Well, it's not really a lodge. It's like the Great Hall. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's basically what I've been doing, is just telling them to plant all the saplings, trying to get that all sorted out. The library's doing well, too. Alrighty then, so uh, just to show you that the tactic for the saplings does work, we can see that there is a 50% on all these, so 
it's working just fine and the dogs will take them down to the um, storage room now so and I got this guy to priority um, basically chopping down trees so this should happen before they um, take any damage from hit points or anything like that so uh, that should be good um, the roof's starting to be put on so slowly uh, we needed um, additional parts for the what do you call it the um the arches for the parts up here so once we get those in then we'll be able to finish the roof and stuff like that most of these are dependent on the ones that go this way so um it's just a matter of until they get the parts that they need, but it'll slowly come together. And then once they get that, I figure they'll probably start filling in the boards up here. And then we can finally put on the final roof, which will be at the very top there. Just kind of like a little lip. Um, it'll look a lot better once it's all set up and stuff like that. So I'm just going to actually change this to brick because it looks a little bit better with brick than if we were to look at it the other way. So... It won't actually show too much, I don't think. Um, just parts where, like, this is, so it won't be too noticeable. But we could go with the ones on the side as well. I think we might actually do that. Uh, we'll just see what that looks like. Yeah, so it will kind of blend in with the uh, sides of the walls and stuff like that. That'll be good. All right, anyhow. Um, yeah, we got that done. Um Got some work on the thing we had that raid today and um they've been basically refining some of the stuff down from that raid and there was that um uh kind of great hall event thing that we did to one of our settlers actually got uh pretty drunk so he passed out during the night in his own bed so well, at least he was already in the bed so but outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.